y'all, it's your girl Shella. She welcome to come back to my channel, and I'm back with a brand new video. back with another video if you're new to the channel welcome if you're returning you know the vibes and as you guys can already tell by the title of this video today's video is going to be a what's on my iphone video i just got a new phone recently the iphone 11 so i decided to do an updated one on this video i've done a lot of what's on my iphone videos i've had my channel for over a year now and i've probably done over like four you know what's on my iphone video so i recently got a new phone so i decided to do a what's on my iphone video you know an updated one well not updated because it's a whole new phone and also the whole ios 14 thing that just came out i thought it was super cool that i show you guys what my home screen and all that stuff look like mine is not too complicated or nothing you guys gonna see when the video you know kind of start and you kind of get to the you know the juicy part or not but yeah um honestly i just wanted to do a what's on my iphone video I haven't done one of those in so long um i stopped doing those because i thought it was pretty boring i had the same phone for like a while so i just didn't see the point of doing an updated one when I had the same apps all over again so I just didn't see the point of doing that so that's the reason why I didn't really do none of that but now I have a new phone and I have a whole lot of different apps a whole lot of new apps as well especially for editing and all that stuff so yeah I'm going to show you guys all of that so make sure you watch um until the end or throughout this whole video the apps that I use to do my thumbnails edit videos edit pictures selfies take pictures and all that stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel and we're gonna get right into this video so I'm gonna start off with the case that I have I have an iPhone 11 Pro and the case is purple pink and gold and also silver it's a 3d um, colorful case and um, you know it has accessories and all types of jewelers on there I'm super extra when it comes to like pink and all that stuff so I decided to get it and um I actually got this from Amazon. I'll link it down below if you guys would like to purchase it. Let me know if you guys think I should link it down below and also make an Amazon account because I know a lot of YouTubers do this where they have, you know, they link their Amazon account to their YouTube channel. I think I'm going to start doing this because a lot of things that I have are from Amazon and you guys always ask me, you know, where I get certain stuff from. So I think I'm going to do maybe like a link. Um, hopefully, you guys see this video. Everything will be situated with Amazon. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. But um, yeah, this is what the case looked like. It also matches my nails, lol. What a coincidence. But, um, yeah, so here's what it looks like. And, um, yeah, so this is the case. And this case is super cute. I used to get, like, Otterbox in those hard, st stiffy stuff cases. But I didn't want to do that this time. Um, I got a screen protector, so it's pretty much protected or whatever like that. So it's really no worries. But, um, yeah, so I have a regular skin protector. Um, it's not a, I believe it's a glass screen protector. It is, it's a glass screen protector. Glass screen protectors are good because even if your phone falls, it's kind of like, it kind of represents the screen basically of the phone. So the screen protector would crack and not your actual screen. So that's how I usually maintain on my phone and my devices. Even on my iPad, my camera, all of that has glass screen protectors, which actually help out a lot. We're going to get right into like what's actually on my phone and all that stuff. So let's do this. So we're going to start off first with my lock screen. So I have these three pictures of me. It's a collage that I did on PixArt. I'll show you guys what the app looks like and how I do my collages and all that stuff. Um, These three pictures are my favorite pictures and this was also my favorite wig install and I believe this is the I want to say favorite picture, but it's one of my favorite selfies, like selfie pictures. They're literally my favorite. I don't know. I look so pretty and so, I don't know, just natural beauty. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I don't know. I just love these pictures. So I did a, you know, collage and I just decided to put it as my home screen. But, um, yeah, everything was just so perfect in this video. Well, not this video, but this picture. Um, my hair was on point. I had just finished with my hair and that install was bomb, period. If you didn't watch it, make sure you tune in. Um my nails was on fleek it was done um eyebrows was on fleek like everything skin was glowing my braces were blue which is my favorite color you know when it comes to braces the picture was just it was just picture perfect you know what i'm saying the picture was just bomb and honestly like i, I was just feeling it you know what i'm saying i, I was feeling myself this day period and y'all know we all have those days you know <laughs> but um, yeah so eventually when i put my phone when i'm up on my face the camera or whatever this is the first um you know what's this called home screen page or whatever that I have um 
I did design my home screen or whatever kind of with the iOS 14 thing but I didn't do nothing extra I did you know kind of color wise and color coded everything I didn't want to put like all those colored apps and everything and add everything because I don't know I just don't like the fact that I had to go through shortcut to actually get to the app so I was really not with all that so that's the reason why I just kept it simple and just did that but I'll show you guys everything right here at the top I have a color widget It's basically a calendar and I have a regular um picture um, up up top so yeah that's what I have super simple and then over here I have the love um, widget smith and another one that said good vibes because I'm I'm a very loving person loving and caring person it also good vibes only because y'all know QBO means good vibes only so I thought you know why not put that there but the very first app that I have is YouTube of course everybody know YouTube you know the YouTube channel all the YouTubers and all that stuff you know my YouTube channel and if you're not subscribing you're watching this video make sure you subscribe and watch my recent videos because you already know the drill you know what I'm saying <laughs> but uh, yeah so that's what I have for YouTube and then next I have this YouTube studio YouTube studio is where I keep track of you know how my videos are doing when it comes to views when it comes to you know estimated amount made in a month the day the week whatever like that um also my analytics like just anything that's youtube related when it comes to money and just the views and how my channel is doing overall so yeah it's a bit personal so i'm not gonna click on there but um yeah that's what i use youtube studio for next up i have is netflix netflix i watch my shows and all that stuff i've been watching train clicks lately and train clicks is pretty good like i love kind of like shows or you know movies that remind me of reality movies that are not so superstitious and all that stuff that look have like whole role Walks and I don't like those kind of stuff. You know, it just looks so fake. Like, it does fake. You know what I'm saying? I don't like watching stuff like that. I like watching stuff that looks so real. And I just relate to, you know, real life, you know, events and things that happen in real life. So, I've been watching Tranquist lately and it's super interesting. Y'all should definitely check it out. If you guys have any shows that you guys think I would like, make sure you guys comment them down below because I like shows that remind me of reality. Shows that remind me of the, the world right now. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Next up I have is YouTube Tracker. I believe I can... Yeah, I can click on YouTube Tracker. So, YouTube Tracker is um, what helps me with what well, it used to help me. Um, it helps you with like your subscribers and also your watch time. I recommend this for new YouTubers or small YouTubers. Period. Um, this actually helps out a lot because you're able to tell like your watch time and all that stuff. Because I know a lot of you guys know how you know you're able to. Um, see your watch time and all that stuff like before you monetize your channel you know you have to have 4,000 watch hours and I believe a thousand subscribers so this is the app that I use I have to sign in so I'm not even gonna do all of that but um yeah YouTube tracker is what I use to you know keep track of that I used to use it before when I was you know had kind of like a smaller channel I used to use that to help me track with my you know watch time but honestly as a youtuber I would have say to download it only because it keeps you so like so freaked out because you want to reach 4,000 watch hours so bad and you keep checking the app every day every day every day and that was me and like it kind of messed me up a little bit because it was freaking me out it stressed me out everything but it's a good app if you're able to kind of you know control how much you go on there believe it or not when you download it you're not gonna be able to get off of it so I don't recommend it but it's totally up to you guys but um next up I have this sub count is where I keep up my subscriber count and right now I have 7,460 subscribers and I just want to say thank you for that and I am super grateful but yeah this is where I keep track of my subscriber count and um yeah and then next up I have this Depop um Depop is where I list a few clothing items that I don't use anymore I also shop from other people that I know or youtubers or whatever like that but this is my Depop I have it some pretty cute clothes on sale right now i have these light blue jeans that i got from sheen on sale right now i also have this cute top from sheen while well, the whole outfit is on sale right now so i have this outfit that's on sale so if you guys want to shop my depop i have you know this little cute brownstone purse i have a whole lot of things on here if you guys are interested in shopping with me i also have some wigs on here as well i sell my refurbished wigs so if you guys want to shop my depop it will be down below <laughs> and then yeah that's what i use and then next up I have is Pinterest I have to say Pinterest is my favorite app favorite favorite app you found so many inspiration and ideas here on Pinterest and look how amazing this is a volleyball one of course but I don't know I just really like Pinterest you find so many ideas and you know you're able to post some ideas as well if you want to share them with everyone else I just really love the app overall this is um so pretty I think I'm gonna save this because I have a volleyball shoot coming up and I wanna I I've been saving a lot of ideas um, when it comes to hair when it comes to just everything you know look how pretty her makeup is everything is just so cute i usually save everything that i see that i like and you know use it as inspo and ideas 
Next up, I have is Gmail. I have my email here where you know companies reach out to me, schools for volleyball, colleges. Um, I have I have three different emails. One is like a old email that I had since I was a kid. The other one is my business email for my channel and also Instagram. And the last one is my volleyball email where I get in contact with colleges and stuff like that. So that's it for the first page of my home screen. <laughs> Next up, I have green. So that was red and I have green. So green, um, of course, I have the calendar up top. I have the calendar and a time up top for every single, um, you know, widget or like home page the first app i have is facetime i use facetime to of course facetime my friends family whatever like that yeah i know facetime what facetime is then i have find my location i have the location of like family members and like friends and all that stuff so keep their location on here and then i have spotify spotify is where i have you know listen to music my mom and i share this spotify because um i don't even know what's going on here i guess i don't even know where this is sending me but yeah my playlist is called shea vibes and um i have a whole bunch of songs in here so yep yeah, this is my playlist and that's what it looks like yeah I have so many songs I have over 200 songs over here so yeah next up I have is cash app cash app is when you can send money and receive money from people and all that stuff then up next I have is messages where you text where I text people and stuff like that then I have phone call people maps for GPS and whatsapp I use whatsapp to get in contact with the Chinese vendors and um, we also have a volleyball group chat that we use via whatsapp so that's where it is and that's why I have whatsapp and um, over here for the widget smith I have this cute little green girl over here on the phone and I have this cactus over here that I love super cute so yeah why not <laughs> Next up I have is yellow. Of course I have the calendar and also the time up top and for the widget smith I have this like electric electric I have this electric um sign up here and I have one that says happy you know just because I'm a happy person so the first um app I have is forever 21 forever 21 is where I shop for like crop tops and cute dresses and stuff like that um this is what my wish list looks like I have some cute stuff up in here that I need to purchase and um yeah they have some pretty cute sandals they have some pretty cute jeans and all that stuff crop top super super cute so I love forever 21 and that's what I have the app next up I have is Snapchat. So Snapchat, of course, you know. I use Snapchat honestly for the filters. I'm not really on Snapchat like that anymore. If you guys wanted to add me, um, I post sometimes when I'm feeling like it. But um, yeah, like I, I'm on Snapchat sometimes. Like <laughs> depends on how I'm feeling. I'm sometimes on Snapchat. Sometimes I'm not. You know, so. Yeah, just use it for the filters, honestly. Next up, I have is notes. Notes is where I keep all my important notes when it comes to like YouTube video ideas, when it comes to all my passwords for apps and all that stuff, when it comes to like important things that I want to write down or things that I want to get done. Or if I'm going to a beauty supply store, I know, okay, let me write all of this down because I know what I'm getting so I can get it and leave. Because if you're like me, you go to that beauty supply store, you're going to pick up everything in your way. And that is me. Like, I will never go into the beauty supply store and buy what I need. I'm always going to pick up something else so that's the reason why I have my notes that help me out so much next up I have is photos photos is where I keep my pictures and all that stuff you guys know pictures I have over 3,000 pictures so we're not even gonna get into that you know what I'm saying next up I have okay so I'm gonna be honest with y'all these three apps over here DH gay over yellow and yellow I don't know what type of apps they are I honestly downloaded them because they match my themes that's the only reason why they're honestly on my phone I don't use them I don't click on them I'm not even this is my first time clicking on this app ever and I don't know what this is um I have no idea what it is I believe this is an editing app but listen I don't even use these apps they're only here because um you know just for the theme of the video you know just not the theme of the video but just for the theme of my phone yeah <laughs> next up I have is blue so first up I have my mail um this is the actual mail that I used to have like a long time ago that's why I have so many emails and there are a lot and I don't feel like going through all of them so that's where they're here just sitting there next up I have is app store app store is of course where you download um you know all your apps and all that stuff of course who doesn't know that and then next up i have is paypal paypal is just like cash app where you can send and receive money from people next up is safari you know when you want to look up when you want to look up something on google or whatever the case may be and next up i have is quick shot quick shot is like a lighting um editing app um i believe i use this sometimes for editing but not all the time it all depends on um the picture and what it looks like whatever like that so that's what quick shot is for then next up i have is weather Oops, i have is weather weather is for you know to check the weather in my area and all that stuff and i have twitter 
I be on Twitter all the time, y'all. I love Twitter. Twitter be speaking some real facts. Um, so yeah, I have Twitter. If you guys want to follow me, feel free to do so. This is just some people retweeting my tweets and stuff. Um, yeah, that's my profile for Twitter. If you guys want to follow me, so yeah, that's Twitter. And then next up, I have is Smart Life. I have no idea what Smart Life is. Smart Life is actually another app that I use just for the theme of my phone. I don't know what Smart App or Smart Life is. I never clicked on it. So, yep. <laughs> okay, so last, um, you know, colorful, you know, home screen I have is um, this one. It's the black and white aesthetic. Um, I have this one set up a little bit different compared to the others, only because I wanted the black and white one to be different. But yeah, I have, of course, the date up top. I have this cloud that's super cute up top, and I have also a calendar and a time over here. And then down here, I have a clock where I set up my alarms and all that stuff. I have a lot of alarms, so I just know when to turn which one on and which one off. This one is always on because I have to wake up to school at 7 o'clock in the morning because our school starts, well, my school starts at 7. 20 so I just wake up 20 minutes before because I don't need to wake up any earlier than that next up I have a settings settings is where I keep you know settings like who doesn't know settings like you know <laughs> settings next up I have this camera y'all already know camera how you turn this away camera hey guys let's pop in <laughs> so yeah camera and then next up I have this gold gold is where I shop for shoes and all that stuff like my Jordan 1, Yeezys, all that stuff, I found them on GOAT. The next up I have is Camera Connect. I use Camera Connect because of my camera. So my camera is a Canon camera and for me to be able to, and for me to be able to get the footage that I have from my camera to my phone, I use Camera Connect. And the next up I have is Reddit. I don't remember what Reddit is for, but I believe it's like a, a reading, a reading. Um, Reddit is like a reading app where I read books and all that stuff. So, yep. Next up, I have this field level. Field level is for, um, like, volleyball. It's for where I get in contact. Field level is how I get in contact with, you know, colleges and all that stuff. And that's what I have it for. And then next up is calculator. You know, everybody knows the calculator. So, yeah. <laughs> next up, I have is these apps. These apps are, like, all over the place, honestly. These are apps that I use. Um not so much but so much you know <laughs> so yeah the first app i have well the first um tab i have is shopping tab shopping tab i have amazon amazon everybody knows what amazon is and i have my bank over here then i have sheen aliexpress offer up lovely wholesale misguided fashion nova i have etsy blush more alibaba and boohoo these are all shopping apps and that i use for shopping when it comes to jeans clothing you know crop tops jackets sweaters everything shopping wise is over here so yeah these are all my shopping apps in the app that i use to shop then the next time i have is photo and video um the first one is video leap um video leap i don't remember what it's for but it's just a regular editing app for videos and stuff like that the next thing i have is music i don't really use music and then the next app i have is in stories in stories is to actually like decorate your insta stories so if you guys follow me on the gram y'all already know i like to keep my insta stories super cute and you know nice especially when i'm promoting a youtube video i like to you know decorate it just to make it look interesting and just to make you know people want to watch the video so i use insta stories to you know edit that and then i have hype type hype type is an app that i use to like you know make transitions on tutorials and all that stuff so it makes it super cute the next up i have is dropbox the dropbox is like the app that i use um when photographers want to see me pictures from a photo shoot and all that stuff so they usually send it via dropbox so yeah that's what they use and the next up i have is hooji hooji is actually the app that i use to like make my photos like super like colorful like this like you know when they have that little editing um kind of effect so that's the one that i use and here's what some of them look like so yeah a lot of you guys usually ask me what app is that and here's the app that it is it's um called hooji and here's are some cute pictures of me um kind of feeling myself a little bit i was in a good mood this day look at me oh my god but um yeah that's what this app is for and the next thing i have is widget smith widget smith is what i actually use to do the colorful things that you guys have seen earlier and uh, Next up, I have is CapCut. CapCut, I actually use to edit my um, Instagram tutorials and stuff when you're, um, you know, when I'm doing like tutorials and I actually want to edit them and like do transitions and cool stuff. Um, sometimes, a lot of time, um, TikTok don't have the ones that I want, so I use, um, you know, CapCut. And then next up, next um, folder that I have is thumbnails. These are all the apps that I use for my thumbnails, so make sure you watch this 
part because it's super important because a lot of you guys always ask me but um yeah the first one is pixar pixar is the number one app i love pixar pixar is really my favorite app to edit they have so many stickers so many fonts so many filters so many things that just can make your pictures look super pretty um especially your thumbnails your thumbnails especially your thumbnails and then next up i have is fonto i use fonto to add text to my um you know thumbnails and all that stuff so that's what i use fonto for then i have you can make up you can make up is when i want to like fix up anything on a thumbnail mix it like smooth and all that stuff so yeah next up i have is erase erase is the app that i use if i want to erase like a background like if i took a picture outside or something and i want to erase the background that's what i would use the next up i have is tezza tezza is the app that i actually use for my instagram pictures a lot of you guys ask me this it makes the picture much brighter and just looks more you know colorful the next up i have is google photos google photos is where i store all of my pictures from like old times and old pictures and everything pictures when i was a baby all of that is stored in here and the next up i have is airbrush airbrush I believe is like when something is kind of wrong in your picture in the background and you want to erase it I believe that's the app that, that I use I don't remember I think it is yeah color widget is also another app that I use for like the you guys see where I was telling you guys about how there's like a calendar up top of my home screen like let me show you guys like this up top over here like where the black part is at yeah that I use um widget color widget and then next up I have is pre-cal pre-cal is like when you add pre-cal is when you want to add like those full and colorful effects or whatever like that so that's what pre is for then i have another tab it's called barely barely is where i have seven news um i have um you know to watch the news and all that stuff then i have followers where i keep track of like who follows me who follows or whatever then i hope uber eats because i'm fat and i love to eat <laughs> oh my god that kind of rounds i'm fat and i love to eat <laughs> I'm a fool, but um, yeah, so that's what I hope reads for. Then I have repost when you want to actually save a picture from Instagram. Then I have my love, my love, I believe it's called like a, it's a calendar or something, whatever it is. Then I have Chrome, it's just like Safari, and then I have DoorDash because I'm fat and I love to eat. I have stock, then I have news, so that's what I have in my barely tab. Then I have my school tab, which is the most important tab on my phone. I have Flow, Flow is for us girls. Your girl, you know what this is. And then I have Xfinity Home. This is like a security system in my house. Then I have Outlook, which is what I use to get in contact with my teachers and all that stuff. That's the app that we use. Then I have Zoom on my phone. I don't even use Zoom on my phone, but I have it just in case I'm on the go and I have a doctor's appointment and I want to stay in class. So I usually put it on my phone. Then I have Teams, is where my teachers send assignments and all that stuff. Then I have Photomath. Photomath is what I use um, if I want to like need help with like a homework or like a you know a problem or whatever. Then I have Brainly. It's the same thing. It helps me out. Discord. I believe is an app where it's like a gaming system app. I forgot what it's called. I believe my brother downloaded it on my phone. But I don't remember what it's for. But uh, yeah, and OneNote is also another app like Outlook. Then I have Collect. I'm not sure what Collect is for, but I believe it's like a Widget Smith app as well. Then I have Reminder, which is where my teacher um, you know texts me when I have like an assignment I need to complete or whatever then I have Canva Canva is when you want to make flyers the business card business posters all that stuff then I have date schools date schools is the app that my school uses and my district uses to check out grades and all that and then I have Flipgrid Flipgrid if you guys know this all that stuff isn't it but um yeah this is the, what the teachers new norm thing or whatever they're giving you like an assignment you have to make a whole video about it yep this one that this the one then I have a word to make my documents and quizly when I have a quiz coming up and I want to study for it. And then I have my calendar, super important. I keep everything loaded, y'all. Like literally, look at this. I keep everything written down in my calendar. Like I see all those dots as places where I wrote. Look how busy September was for me. All of these, I was booked like hair or like volleyball practice, whatever I had to do. Then I have Instagram and I also have TikTok. So you know that's it for my phone and here's what it looks like you know super cute super simple and yep that's what my phone looks like you guys that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and that school was actually on my iphone 11 so yep if you guys like what i have on my phone make sure you let me know if you guys have like similar apps or whatever like that let me know down below comment below let me know what you know thank you guys so much for tuning into this video i know i haven't been super super active as much as i used to be during the summer but you guys know school started so just bear with me i'm trying my best to at least upload once a week so i upload every 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 saturday like that's definitely a promise like i'm gonna upload every saturday but um brand new upload during the week i'm not sure when that's gonna happen but i'm working on the schedule right now i'm currently in volleyball season i do hair i have a whole job I, i'm a full-time youtuber i'm a student student athlete listen it's no joke but i'm doing my best i'm trying my best so just bear with me and i'll have much more videos coming for you guys 
so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one bye y'all peace